this is what we've labored for. This is what we've prayed for. This is what we have an expectation for. Holly, but you are off of your game, Holly, when you're into the crowd. I'm going to say it again. You're off of your game when you're into the crowd in the name of Yahshua. Holly, you have to keep before you the task at hand. Holly, and what is the task at hand? The Heavenly Father has decided to promote you in the midst of your enemies. The Bible says he, pre he, pre he prepares a table before me in the midst of my enemies. He anoints me with oil. So the Heavenly Father, he wants to promote you in the midst of your enemies. The Heavenly Father wants to openly, holly, bless you, holly, in uh, front of a, an audience of people. Understand in the name of Yahshua, holly, your promotion has arrived. And now you must be ready. I think you're in great error if you've been singing for 10 years and you're not ready. You're in great error if you've been playing an instrument for 10 years and you're not ready. You're in great error if you've been praying for this time, praying for this moment, and you're not ready. Hallelujah, I don't think it was, it was by chance that the article about Dr. Paul's Chris came out today, right before we're about to go to Richmond, and came out also during the three-day fast. Once again. Uh, push my mother up here. I wasn't expecting this thing. Come on up here. Now, come on up here, Mom. Hallelujah, she was telling me off. Like, I'm going to church. Like, I am going to church. My mother's in church. Come on, mom. Come on, say, so put your hands together, my mom. to his mother, hallelujah. But the thing is, hallelujah, the son of expectation that Benny thought fell mm -hmm. is coming back, Amen. hallelujah, in the name of Yahshua. Amen. So I need you to understand, hallelujah, you not only represent the gift of Yahweh, but, but you represent the prodigal son, Amen. hallelujah, 
You represent hallelujah, a gift and a calling, hallelujah, without, is, that, is without repentance. Amen. You represent second chances, Amen. hallelujah. You represent, and maybe I'm sure you're going to show a connection, hallelujah, between my, my grandfather, hallelujah, my father, and us. Amen. Amen. And this is spiritual. Amen. Hallelujah. But we have to be ready. Amen. We have to be ready. Amen. Once again, 2 Corinthians 8, verse 19 says, and not only that, but who was also chosen of the churches. Write this on the board. Chosen of the churches to travel with us. Once again. Chosen of the churches to travel with us. Amen. Just write that part. With this grace, which is administered by us to the glory of the saying hour. Amen. And this part. And the declaration of your ready mind. I need you to understand that there is an expectation. Once again, hallelujah. This is your Moshe moment. What is your Moshe moment? Your Moshe moment is when you return back to the place that you once fell. Mm. Understand that the Heavenly Father sent Moshe back to Egypt, and Egypt was the very place that he fled from. Yes. But here it is that Yahweh was sending Yahweh back to his Egypt, not to fell this time. Amen. But he was sending him back to Egypt to show everybody that, yes, this is my chosen, yes, this is the one that I call, and yes, this is the point of time. But at that very time, that's when Moshe had mixed feelings. Can I do this? Can I carry this out? Amen? But you will always have mixed feelings when you're not meditating on your task and your goal. Amen? And it's because of this, we must keep our task and our goal before us. Very speedily, then yeah, sure. The Bible is very explicit. It will tell you what not to think on. You see, because if you think on the wrong thing, you won't walk in the right thing. Right. And it's because of this, the enemy always wants you to think contrary to the way Christ wants you to think. Because if you can think contrary, you'll never accomplish your mission. Amen? And what is your mission? Your mission is to have life and to have it more abundantly. And how do you have life and how do you have it more abundantly? You have life and you have it more abundantly when you are one with who Christ called you to be. Right. And you are always one with, with what Christ called you to be. When you are flowing in the spirit. Are you with me, saints? Father, you are worthy. Hallelujah. I'm going to give you a, a greater overview of this. Hallelujah. So you have a better understanding of what's being said. Amen. Hallelujah. Father, you are worthy in the name of Yeshua. Amen. I'm just going to go up a few uh, verses. I'm going to go up to verse 15. And as I'm up in verse 15, I'm going to read uh, down to 19. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Verse 15 says, As it has been written, the person who gathers much did not have much. Amen? And the person who has gathered little did not have too little. Verse 16. Thanks be to Elohim who put the same dil diligence for you into the heart of Titus. Hallelujah. The Bible says that Titus had a diligence, so we're talking about Titus. But who was it that put the diligence in Titus? I want to read it again. But thanks be to Elohim who put the same diligence for you into the heart of Titus. Amen? In other words, the Heavenly Father will put a diligence within you for someone else. Is anyone listening to me? I mean, I'm going to read from the King James Version Bible. But thanks be to Elohim, which put the same earnest care into the heart of Titus. Amen. Are you with me? Amen. Father, I thank you and praise you. Amen. Hallelujah. I need you here, Pastor Princess. Hallelujah. Peace and glory. You listening? Hallelujah. Yahweh. Put diligence into the heart of Titus. Come on, saints, please don't lose that. Amen. Who was it that put diligence in the heart of Titus? Yahweh. If Yahweh put diligence in the heart of Titus, that means that you can pray for diligence and he will do the same for you. Amen. In the book of Yah, Yah, the book of James says, If any man lacks wisdom, let him ask of Yah, who gives to all men freely. So if you lack wisdom, Yah will give it to you. I, I need you. I need you with me in the name of Yeshua. In other words, I'm constantly meditating on my mission. Amen. I'm constantly meditating on what Yahweh called me to do in the name of Yahshua. And as I was meditating on this, Holly, and as I was speaking in the name of Yahshua to Minister Jonathan, Minister Jennifer, Holly, a uh, prophet Jackie, I was telling them in the name of Yahshua. Now is the time for your promotion. Amen. Because this, Holly, is what many of us have been praying for for years. Amen. But it's amazing that you will pray for something for years, and you'll wait for that one opportunity, but sometimes when the opportunity comes, you're not ready. 
and you're not ready because you haven't been flowing in the diligence. But here, once again, comes grace. It says, Yahweh put diligence into the heart of Titus. If Yahweh put diligence into the heart of Titus to carry out a task, then surely Yahweh can put diligence in you to carry out a task too. Amen. Are you with me, saints? Once again. But thanks be unto Elohim who put. Put is the Greek word diddle. Amen. Just spell it. D I D O M I. Diddle. Amen. Amen. Diddle me means to give something to someone for their advantage. Amen. Once again, how to come forth? Let me ask you, is that your fault? Yes, sir. I'll bring it here. I'll it. If I diddle me him this fold, that means I'm giving him this fold, how for his advantage. I'm giving him something that's going to be for his advantage. Amen. Listen, saints. What has Christ given you for your advantage but you just allowed to be idle in your life? Amen. You just allowed it, hallelujah, to be pushed to the side. Amen? In other words, in the name of Yahshua, whatever the Heavenly Father gave you, he gave it for your advantage. You've got to move on it now. Amen. You've got to be ready for it now. Amen? You've got to walk in the strength of it now. Amen? I remember when Sister Karen and then Yahshua uh, first started coming out. Stand up. I want to talk about you. I remember when she first started coming out to praise and worship practice. Amen. And I remember she was having a hard time. Uh, and she was telling me, Bishop, all my life, well, since my teenage years, I've been independent. Uh, but this is the first time I believe she was out of a job. Uh, she was about to oh, yeah, yeah, she had a big uh, leg cast on, so she couldn't work. Amen. I believe uh, she was about to be put out. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. uh, and she was she said, I've never been in this position before. Amen. Hallelujah. Uh, but even though she was never in that position before, she was ready. Amen. Ready to believe. Well, now you're a manager, right? Yes. Now she's a manager. Hallelujah. Now she's got a husband. In the name of Yahshua. Hallelujah. But the thing is, in the name of Yahshua, I remember when she used to come out to praise and worship practice. Hallelujah. Uh, broke. Hallelujah. And just by faith. Hallelujah. And just by faith and needing that faith to go to the next level. But right now, you're walking to something you prayed for. Amen. Amen. And now, hallelujah, she got off from work, hallelujah, so that she could be on the praise and worship team because now it's her opportunity to lead. Amen. Understand, the word, be you ready, yeah. means when your opportunity comes to lead, you flow with it. Hallelujah. When your opportunity comes for you to lead, you flow with it. I mean, come up here, I want to talk about him. You can sit down, Karen. And then Yahshua, come on up here. I love Calvin. Amen. Uh, Calvin, uh, where's Minister Louie? Come on up, Minister Louie. Come on. Come on, hurry up, Minister Louie. I know, you can't get it. You're a man, man. What did you expect? A man being a heat boy club. Minister Louie brought in uh, Calvin. Uh, I don't see Dita Drummer here. I mean, Calvin, come on. Calvin brought in Dita Drummer. Hallelujah. That was very good. Amen. But for the last, I don't know, month or two, maybe longer, Calvin's been texting me, saying I feel ready to leave. And he, 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 he's pretty blunt. He's like, you know, can I uh, play instead of Dion? <laughs> you know? I mean, he's like, you know, you know, and he's, he's, he's religious too. So he's like, I heard from the Holy Spirit. Y'all said I'm going to play today. I'm like, that ain't what I got. <laughs> so we don't always hear the same y'all. He said uh, last week that he was ready, he was ready, he was ready, he was ready. Holly, and this week, you have the opportunity. But you have to make sure you have the ready mind. You have to make sure you have the ready heart and the ready mind. You ready to hear this? Holly, I'm going to keep it real short and simple. Uh, he's been playing for an opportunity to lead. How many of us have been praying for a mate? And then your mate comes and you're not ready. How many of us have been praying for marriage and we get married and we find ourselves not ready? How many of us have been praying for kids and we get kids and we find that we're not ready? Amen? There are too many people who are getting answered prayer and they're not ready. When you're not ready, you get answered prayer, you just mess it up. Hallelujah. And that's what comes very important for you to have a ready mind before you actually have it in the natural. I mean, you may be seated, but maybe I should. Um, I'll be working in the natural. Once again, verse 16. Amen. Hallelujah. Thanks be to Elohim who put the same diligence for you in the heart of Titus. 
I'm in verse 17. For he accepted our urging, I'm in, and being very diligent, went out to you by his own choice. I'm in. I love words. If, uh, is anybody with me? I love words. I'm in. If you heard that, it said that Titus, I am, he was being urged by the apostles to go out, and he went out by his own choice. Did you read that? But we also read in the above verse, it was Yahweh who put in his heart to be good. Come on, saints. I need you with me just for a moment. I'm not going to keep you long. But what I need you to understand, what I need you to understand, Hallelujah, is that a great neural from the one. This is my confession, man. I just got to get to Richard. Yahweh's going to do the rest. Hallelujah. I'm running into the people. You know, they call me up. Bishop, you know, I got into sexual sin. I got to look. Just get to Richard. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm, that's the way that I am. I mean, get to the place where Christ called you to be. I mean, and let him work everything else out. I mean, when you get to your appointed place, write this on the board. At your appointed place, there is always grace. At your appointed place, there is always grace. But grace doesn't start at your appointed place. Grace starts when you accept your mission. Because grace is what takes you to your appointed place. Hallelujah. So if Yahweh has called you to a place, we've got to recognize you can't get there anyway without taking a step of faith. Amen. For the just shall live and walk by faith. In the name of Yahshua. You know, Hallelujah, I just want to talk about me for a moment. Hallelujah. Father, you're worthy. Amen. But once again, uh, I want to touch on that. How the Bible says it was Titus' choice, but above we see it was not Titus' choice because Yahweh put the diligence within him. Hallelujah. So here it is in the name of Yahshua. Hallelujah. Uh, I'm always hearing from Yahweh what to do. So Yahweh was dealing with me about Sunday service, Hallelujah, and who was going to minister. So the first person I ministered, well, spoke to was Minister Jonathan. Uh, I just want to speak about some prophecies that we've gotten that we've always known in our ministry. The prophecies that have come forth in our ministry that are Ministries will become more Latino than anything else. Yeah. Amen. Right. Uh, we received these words years ago, so so we understand that and we're, we're preparing for that. You know, right. I need to listen to me. Amen. Okay. So if y'all were saying our ministries will be, uh, is going to become more Latino based in the name of Yahshua, we understand how how Yahweh is molding us and what direction He's taking us Amen. in the name of Yahshua. In the same token, we understand how the, the awakening of Central America, how the awakening of South America Amen. to their African roots. Amen. Amen. I need you with me. Amen. We understand there is awakening. Some people get kind of slow. There's awakening. Hallelujah. Central America, South America, to the African roots Amen. in the name of Yahshua. Because all of this, Hallelujah, is intertwined, Hallelujah, as we come forth, Hallelujah, to usher in a greater unity within the body of Christ. Amen. When we look at the uh, Catholic Church, what brought the greatest change in the Catholic Church is the way that Latinos receive the faith and the way that Africans receive the faith. In other words, the way that Latinos and Africans receive the faith, they brought change in the faith. Amen. It's a very big difference between an African Catholic Church uh, in Africa and in America. Amen. Very, very a big change. But that being true in the name of Yahshua, I need you to listen to me. Hallelujah. As we begin to pre uh, prepare, I was like, okay, Hallelujah. Uh, if all things was perfect, Hallelujah, I want uh, Minister Jonathan to minister. Very, 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 very powerful minister. Amen. Very, very powerful. Amen. Um, and then I said, well, if all things was perfect too, I would want Holly and Prophet Jackie to minister. I've known her since 19, 2000. I've known her since she was 16. I mean, she's a very powerful testimony. Her mother was a drug addict, I mean, but through all of that, she prevailed. Through all of that, she overcame in the name of Yahshua. Holly, uh, I remember that. Holly, but you know, when you talk to people, I don't care who it is, you, 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 you want to feel back, they feel what you feel. And I wasn't feeling that in the name of Yahshua. I mean, I would ask people, how you doing? How's it going? I wasn't feeling that. But in the same token, every day, the person I would be talking to on very, very deep subjects is Minister Jim. Amen. Are you listening to me? Hallelujah. I mean, she was like, man, I had to rebuke my husband. <laughs> and as I was thinking, I was like, what I'm looking for is right before my face. What I'm looking for is what... What I'm constantly, constantly speaking to. I mean, and it's amazing in the name of Yahshua that sometimes you can miss your answer prayer even when your answer prayer is right before you. I need you to, to hear me. I'm not going to hold you up long, Holly. But I, I want you to understand in the name of Yahshua, 
Uh, some of us were praying for things that we're not ready for. But guess what? You can get ready right now. Amen. Because faith is now. Amen. 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 I want to read this one last time. Thanks be unto Elohim, who put diligence, who put the same diligence for you into the heart of Titus. For he accepted our urging, and being very diligent, went out to you by his own choice. With him, we have sent the brother who is praised throughout the churches for the good news of the ministry. And not only that, but he was also appointed by the churches to accompany us with the gift that is being administered by us for the glory of Yahweh himself to show our eagerness to help. In other words, there was an expectation that Titus was going to do something. Listen, here comes the kick. When your time is now, people are expecting you to deliver. When you do not deliver, you disappear. I don't care who you are, whether it's in marriage, friendship, when people are looking for you to be the answer, when they receive, Holly, in prayer, that you are the answer. And when you don't deliver, they begin to question their relationship with Christ. Mm. They begin to question their relationship with the Holy Spirit. I mean, they begin to question. They're like, I thought this person was the answer. I thought this person was going to take us to the new level. I, I, some of you are not missing. I'm missing. Amen. Let me be more direct. I'm once again, I'm going to talk about me. I mean, let me tell you why I'm laughing. I'm laughing because I love to study. Hallelujah. I, uh, I love being diligent. I mean, right now I love cooking. Uh, I do. And then I should. Hallelujah. We've given a money back guarantee tonight. Anything you don't like, get your money back. Uh, um, but, saints, I'm not going to fail in Richmond. People. They have an expectation that something great is going to take place. They have an expectation that something mighty is going to take place. Amen. Very clearly. So I've been studying. I'm in. I've been studying Halia. Um, I've, I've never studied any message like I've studied the one that I'm studying now. But the thing is, when I study a lot, Halia, I like to release what I've studied. Amen. I'm determined not to release what I've studied until Sunday. <laughs> and it's hard. I'm in. Because when you study something and you're ready, you become it. I'm in. What I'm telling you in the name of Yahshua, you have to become who you were praying to be before you're actually in it, before you have the opportunity. You have to become it at that moment. You have to become it. You have to embrace it. You have to welcome it. Holly, you have to have a ready mind. Amen. You have to have a ready mind. In other, in other words, saints, this is what we prayed for, Gabby. Uh, this is what we warred for. Amen. This is the, this is the time. This is the opportunity. I always meditate on this. Holly, my daughters. Amen. I, I always said I wanted five daughters and two sons. Amen. Holly, I got four daughters. <laughs> I guess I didn't want them all in order like that. You know. But the thing is, Holly, I always knew Holly. Uh, for me, it's just easy to raise daughters, you know? But then again, I don't know about sons or have them. Amen? But the thing is, in the name of Yahshua, I'm constantly meditating, hey, I'm walking in answer prayer. Amen. I'm walking with what, what, what Yahweh told me to walk in. Amen? But now, in the name of Yahshua, is our time, amen, to be ready. That's right. This is what we cried out for. Yeah, this is what we labored for in the name of Yahshua. We cannot allow this to, lift, to slip through our fingers. Mm. And that being true in the name of Yahshua, Understand that whatever Christ calls you to do, he already positions you and equips you to do. Amen? So now all you have to do is follow the script. That's it. Amen? But the Heavenly Father, hallelujah, in this day of grace, hallelujah, he's given us a word. Now is your time. I'm going to make you ready. For those of you who have faith, the Heavenly Father is going to make you ready. Right this moment for your blessing. Amen. Regardless of what you've been doing. Regardless of what you've been going through. Holly, he's going to make you ready. That's what faith does in the name of Yahshua. Holly, he is going to make you ready. Amen. And the only thing you've got to do is receive it. That's what fasting is. What fasting is, hallelujah, I'm not going to eat and he's going to do everything. 
Amen? It sounds so foolish. Right? But it's a spiritual principle that the Heavenly Father loves you so much that He wants to do everything to work out your salvation, Amen. including die for your sins. That being true, Holly, we have to be that Titus. We have to be that Titus to pray for that diligence and then allow that diligence to flow through us in the name of Yahshua. And as that diligence flows through us, Holly, for us to become the great and mighty people Yahweh calls us to become. Holly, saints, at this time, just receive the tithe and the offer along with the prayer request in the name of Yahshua. I have a great expectation. Hallelujah. Um, we have a lot of testimonies uh, coming forward. In the name of Yahshua. Hallelujah. But now is our time. Amen. Now is our moment. In the name of Yahshua. The Heavenly Father is going to perform great miracles and wonders. What the fast represents is our work is over. Amen. I need to say our work is over. Hallelujah. The end of the fast represents, hallelujah, we are going to walk in the rest. R-E-S-T of God. Amen. And as we walk in his rest, what he promised to do, he's going to do. Amen. Saints, I need you to understand. Hallelujah. Now is the time for you to receive your promise. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And being ready. I was just laughing because uh, Minister Ron, Minister Monique, and AJ, they were going somewhere and they got lost. Amen. <laughs> they were going to Pastor Lewis's job for an event and they got lost. Amen. Uh, and I was just meditating, you know, how could they get lost when Pastor Lewis and Brother Sean, lift your hand, they work there. All you have to do is ask them, where do you work? But a lot of times that's the problem with our ministry. Amen. We have good intentions. Hey, princess. How are you? There's an angel on the loose. Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. We, we get lost in the midst of our ancient prayer. Amen. Uh, we get lost at our appointed moment. But that's not going to take place now. Amen. It's not going to take place probably because of his grace. Amen. His grace is sufficient. Amen. His, his grace is mighty. His grace is strong. Amen. Hallelujah. I have uh, a great deal of cousins. We're going to meet me in Richmond that I've never met before. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Let us stand. Saints, if you know you're on the verge of answer prayer, lift your hands. Yes. Oh, Father, right now. Father, I magnify you. For the great miracles and wonders, Father God, that have been performed in the midst of this fast. Father, right now, this day, This day I have waited to live all of my life. The day that you unite my grandfather, my father and myself and his family. Father, you remember the prayers of a little boy that used to cry himself to sleep and say, why? Why is my daddy not who Yahweh called him to be? Father, as I used to daydream and hope that my grandfather would be my father because whole, how I so desire to have a bishop as a father. Father, I say you're going to perform a miracle in my father. Amen. 
And I say, Father God, that even now, you are making him ready for his ready. Father, I know, Father God, that all the enemies of my grandfather were hoping and praying that my father would never return. But yet they never imagined a grandson. Father, I thank and praise you for your grace. And being that miracle and being that answer, I confess that each and every soul here is ready. Hold on, see. The Holy Spirit is calling unto you. Father, right now, according to your word, If the Holy Spirit has put an urgency within your heart, an urgency to get answered prayer, an urgency to walk in your gift, an urgency to be who Father Yah has ordained you to be, then I need you to step out on faith and come forth. If need be, force your way to the front. Yes, Lucy. 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 Yes, Lucy.